Is there a particular reason the product is designed this way? Well, we got really lucky when we were designing Halo Sport because the part of your brain that controls your body is right here. It's the primary motor cortex. It's right under the band of a pair of headphones. So a pair of headphones was the natural thing to build to make a product that everybody would know how to use, wear, and put on, and also could stimulate primary motor cortex to build muscle memory faster. We got to make headphones, we got to make a good looking, great sounding pair of headphones, and give people something that you actually want to wear in the gym. What kind of waves does Halo Sport use? Halo Sport uses what's called transcranial direct current stimulation. And if I'm going to talk about it in terms of waves, it's like a rising tide that elevates all of the neurons and makes them more likely to fire together. There's other types of brain stimulation called transcranial alternate current stimulation, transcranial pulsatile stimulation. Those are more like oscillations, waves like this. But TDCS is a rising tide that lifts all the neurons. How do I know if it works? Well, the best way to see Halo Sport working is already one of the principles of your training. That's measurement of your outcomes. Good training means thinking about technique, training hard, training regularly, and then measuring what you're doing so you understand what worked and what didn't. So measure your outcomes, use Halo Sport with high quality thoughtful training for a few weeks. You'll get better faster and you'll see that in your performance. Another great, really music-specific question here. Is it possible to use Halo Sport to train both your left and right hands if you're a musician practicing something like piano? The short answer is yes. The long answer is this technology is helping neurons on both sides of your brain fire together whether or not you're using the left hand or the right hand waveform. Now it's doing that with a different population of neurons on each side. Excitatory cells compared to inhibitory cells. Both are important for muscle memory and you'll build muscle memory on both sides. That said, the research suggests that the left-sided waveform is a little bit better for improving your left hand performance and the right-sided waveform is a little bit better for improving your right-sided performance. So what we'd recommend is when you train, one day use the left-sided waveform, one day use the right-sided waveform, but from each you'll get benefit on both hands.